Hi, in this video we'll be doing a, uh, a teardown of a Dollarama mouse, wireless USB mouse. Over Three dollars, you know. Wonder what we're going to get. Since it runs off one AA battery, so let's have a look and see what goes on on the inside. So anyway, to the bench. Okay, so let's let's get this open and let's see what it's got. Oh, I hate these <clears throat> now I did get a uh, USB memory stick from uh, Dollarama not so long back and plug it into your computer and try to put a file on it. It took, like, it took too long and quit out on it. Okay, so first look at the mouse, it's looks fairly decent, it's very very light. You think it's like an empty box. But it's it's awfully light. You can tell there's not gonna be very much in there. Even sounds hollow. Now this, I don't even know if it's gonna be Bluetooth or anything. But they did have products in there that was Bluetooth. Okay, let's see if there any hidden screws under here. Oh, yeah, I see a screw right in there. So let's, let's get that out. More screws? Nope. Just the one screw holding it on. Okay, so there's the uh, the board. That's funny. Those buttons are very familiar. Yeah. The same buttons that I used in the uh, the, in the Microsoft mice that I uh, I use. Now this is all. Uh, Single-sided board configuration, all cheap and nasty. And, uh, well, they have some uh, designators on the uh, on the silk screen. This capacitor is 100 microfarads for that one, 10 for that one. Okay, let's see if we can get this out without killing it. Okay, I'm gonna have to unscrew that. Oh, sorry. Gotta keep it in shot there. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh. Nope, I need a little Phillips. No, those are not Phillips. Yeah, that'll do. There's really tiny screws in here. Is anything going to get in there? Nope, yeah, just got enough, enough grip in there to... Can I get that one? Come on. Oh, that doesn't want to go. <clears throat> All turn this out. Okay, this one. Will this work? Yeah, just. How many more screws are this? As the screwdriver even works. I modified it to open a Wii. Turned it into a triangle one before I bought one on eBay. I didn't have a camera at the time to record, but it was a Wii teardown. Two. Two screws 
That cooks that out, yep. Is there any more hidden screws that I don't know about? Okay. Let's try and leave this board out. I don't know if I've got a hot glue or something in there. Oh, there we go. Well, you have to coax this one up as well. Yeah. Wow, there's not much to this at all. There's that module there. <clears throat> and that module there. Now I'm wondering, is this module... Oh, very nice. We can get it in the shot here. Can we get it into focus? Uh, look at that. It's got the pin out of this device. V bar. Yeah. Not BCC. CS LED. <clears throat> Very nice. Quite a lot going on in there for a mouse. Now this device here, in some cases, I wonder if I can get a, a good close-up of that one. Let's put that down. In some cases, you can uh, read them through SPI, not SPI, sorry, I squared C, and you can retrieve image data from them. And that's usually fun. But I will uh, I'll check that up and, and have a look. Okay, so it turns out this chip is an MX8650 from Shenzhen Li's Electronics Company Limited. Now from what I can find here is it operates 1.8 volts, 2.7 volts and, uh, and you can power it from a 3 volt circuit if needed and uh, let's see if I can do it this way <clears throat> now uh, top left is the uh, is pin 1 which is not connected but the bottom the <clears throat> sorry the bottom left two pins, they uh, is uh, serial interface and serial clock. It looks like it's a, an I squared C in this case, and it has a, a bunch of registers which will give the uh, the movement specifications on the mouse. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's it's the type where you can retrieve the image from it. But I will have to um, have to experiment with that. See if I can get some kind of image out of it. <clears throat> but I will put the uh, the data sheet for this chip on my website in case anyone's interested. <clears throat> but unfortunately, I still don't know if uh, what type of uh, communication the wireless uses. I might be able to. Uh, find some information on the module but it's come on with the auto focus doesn't want to 
That's the best I'm going to get for now. MKK7-2. Okay, I'll have a quick look at that and see what I can find. Now, unfortunately, I can't seem to find any information about this module. But it, it seems uh, fairly specialised for what it is. Now, it might be possible to uh, determine the frequency using a... Uh, um, what's it called? A spectrum analyzer. In fact, I might, I might actually take it to the college for me tomorrow and see if I can stick it on the spectrum analyzer. That's if it works. I uh, do not, unfortunately, have have a battery with me right now. But I'll take it to the to college with me and, uh, and have a look. Apart from that, it looks, looks a fairly decent looking mouse. I will uh, I'll put it back together and uh, I'll take it and give it a test run. Upstairs, I suppose. screwdriver for this. Oh wait, something's wrong here. Jiggling around like crazy. Maybe it's not in properly yet. Okay, let's try that again. seem happy. Okay, it seems happy now. the first time I've lost a screw in a device and I've had to take the whole thing apart just to get it out again. These screws are so, f so little and tiny and flimsy. In this case, oh it's doesn't seem to do much. It does not even end properly. Come on. Doesn't want to doesn't want to play nice. Seems to 
be extended or something. Happy. It didn't seem to feel right anyway. Right first. When I first started it. Okay. It just wasn't screwed down far enough. It was a bit hesitant about that. Assuming, yeah, that's a storage for the uh, USB stick. Okay, I'm gonna take it upstairs now. See how it looks. Okay, let's uh, let's plug the USB stick into uh, into my USB hub over here. You can see it all. There we go, I pushed it in and uh, let's see if it detects it. There's no activity light going on. Nothing's happening. Ooh. Let's uh, let's take it out. Plug it out again. See how it goes. Mm -hmm. No. Nothing goes on. All right, let's uh, let's get a, a battery and see if this lights up. If does anything? Oh, look at this. It flickered, that's it. Alright. Put that on and see how many happens. Happening. Alright, I'm gonna put my actual USB stick in that I actually have. Not USB, the Bluetooth. Let's see how that actually works. Let's see if it picks anything up.
Nope. I bet that's my uh, my slate tablet. It's not a mouse. So it's not this. So. It does bugger well. Useless. Absolutely useless. Hopefully we can do something with the uh, the sensor. Otherwise it's uh, it's useless. button it definitely shows some then it going all the way to the top set the battery out we're all quiet put the battery in we've got spikes yeah it's working the light ain't on yeah that just means your optical isn't working so, so how's it supposed to to do anything it's well you got your battery in you're hitting the buttons right so that's what you're getting with the spikes. Yeah. And then it looks like the optical part is not connected properly. Yeah. What'd you expect for $3, eh? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, that was a um, just a quick teardown of, uh, of the dumb, useless dollar store mouse. And, um, hopefully I've added footage in from the Spectrum Analyzer. If not, I couldn't get a chance to do it. But yeah, this <laughs> even, even smells cheap. It smells like cheap Chinese electronics. It's like when you buy uh, when you buy prototyping boards off eBay. That's what it smells like. I like that smell. But anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and uh, I'll see you again for another Teardown video. Okay, goodbye.